In the United States, another demonstration of love and solidarity for the Cuban people and against the U.S. sanctions on Cuba took place on Sunday, February 26, in Miami, Florida. Dozens of activist members of U.S. patriotic immigration organizations went to the streets of Miami to demand that Washington remove Cuba from the list of countries that sponsor terrorism. For Professor Carlos Lasso, leader of Bridges of Love, the message for President Joe Biden is clear. Done with the blockade. Take Cuba off of the list of terrorist countries. Build bridge of love between the people of Cuba and the USA. Look at the joy here. Look at the party. The activists recall that hundreds of terrorist acts have been committed against Cuba. As an example, they remember the events in the coastal town of Boca de Sama in the municipality of Banas in the province of Holguin, when in the early morning of October 12 of 1971, a group of terrorists who crew two pirate boats from Florida cruelly attacked the civilian population living dead and wounded. Here we are in the last Sunday, as in every single month of the last Sunday, with a caravan in favor of the Cuban family, in favor of the Cuban people. Down with the blockade. Let's end the sanctions that are hurting the Cuban people. President Biden, listen, it's time to end the sanctions. The Cuban people are suffering. Down with the blockade. Every last Sunday of the month, this initiative takes place in Miami and other U.S. cities. The caravaners consider that the people of Cuba and the U.S. can have better relations in all sectors, as happened during the Obama era, where there was a better relationship between the two countries. From Havana, Cuba, Irma Shelton, Telesur, English.